So, wish they would have given us more time because there are a lot of good games. But anyway, in this game, welcome back to DreamHack Open Summer 2014. This is day two, group stage three. The deciders match for group F? Is it F? I, uh, 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 I'm not sure. Rip. Rip. This is Group E. Deciders match Group E. Alright, I got it right. Um, so, in the top left for Alien Evasion, the Korean player now living in Germany, we have the Pink Protoss. Patience. I wanted to do this angle. In the top right... Oh, well, actually... <laughs> He moved in. He moved in. Um, in the top, in the middle, at the gold. The player, uh, you know, very... Uh, the son of Boxer, even though he doesn't like that anymore. Um, we have the Red Terran playing for Acer MMA. That's right. So MMA taking the gold. Uh, there's a few things you can do. You can do uh, bioaggression. Or you can gas first into a one one one, and the thing, the one one one. The, some people don't know that because it's not a lot of popular in Art of the Swarm. One 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 was a build made in Wings of Liberty. It was a Marines tank, Banshee, and a Raven. The reason it was good is because back then people didn't really know how to beat it. Uh, but people then eventually figured out, you know, just need 5 gate, a robo, and a lot of gateway units, and you'll deal with it. Now, uh, Patience saw the, the SCVs mining by taking the Watchtower, so he knows that MMA is the goal. It's going to be a little bit annoying. And um, so the reason the 101 would be good on this map is because the way the ramp is made here, you can siege your tanks, and it's really hard for the, the Protoss to break out. But uh, MMA going for one gas... MMA going for uh, one gas, and um, and so it's not going to be one one one, but it's it could it could still be one one one, because MMA is adding a bunker and it's not going for a reaper, so he's saving his gas. Uh, right now, as you can see, he's got eighty six production tab. We have a zealot coming out for uh, for patience. Is he going to be aggressive with that? Is it just so that he doesn't get eBay block? We'll see here in a second. I doubt the MMA is going to eBay block. He wants that factory. Well, he started that factory already. The Zots is completed. The Zots is completed. And the Mothership War is started. So the Nexus is going to be a tiny bit delayed. And you, we might see Patience uh, harass the mineral line with the Mothership Core. Um, you know, just outside the bunker range. So the SCV being annoying. Um, but ends up dying to the probe. The probe's a serial killer. Kills anything in sight. Um, Mothership Core now moving out. The Zealot's gonna grab the Watchtower. I don't think the, the Zealot will be poking. Um, not aware of the bunker just yet, but you know, you see a bunker and you're like, meh. Uh, another SCV moving out uh, to scout if there's an expand and to scout the main. I'm not sure what kind of one base all in the Protoss could do to beat what MMA is doing, but MMA wants to know uh, anyway. Uh, so we have a second barrack, and we have a reactor made here. Uh, the Marines left. The, no, the Marines are in the mineral line, I guess, uh, to prevent the Mothership Corps from harassing, maybe uh, from prevent an Oracle from doing anything. And here we have the Stalker chasing the scouting city of MMA. MMA is going to confirm at least... And expand, but nothing else. Uh, he sees two gas, which is standard, but he doesn't know if it's a Stargate or a Robo. And we have a Robo for Patience. A Robo for Patience, which uh, is necessary versus what MMA is doing. You need detection for the Widow Mine, and then you need uh, possibly an Immortal or two for the tanks. Uh, we've seen San yesterday uh, get uh, Colossus for this type of 111 on this map. However, when Sun did it versus Balloon, it wasn't versus a gold, uh, gold Terran. <laughs> and I, by gold Terran, I don't mean that MMA is gold league. I mean that uh, MMA lifted at the gold. So MMA uh, gonna reposition is Widow Mine and is gonna move out with a much, uh, medevac full of Marines. Three Stalkers are awaiting the medevac. Uh, not aware yet of the Marines. He's gonna have to kite back, but 
Okay, he's gonna have to pay bad impatience doing pretty well, but with the healing uh, capability of the medevac, uh, it took a while for him to take down a marine. Now takes down. Oh, and uh, that's really good for MMA, you know, killed a zealot and only lost a marine. Patience didn't want to overcommit. Patience also now on three gates and a robo, starting his first immortal and a really. He's suspecting heavily that MMA is going to do the 1-1-1, one, one, one. you know, the tank is there. The it's There's not going to be any Banshees, though. That's a, that's a variation that uh, not everyone do. Like, people really love to mix in the Banshee because as you move in with everything... Oh, that tank was... Uh, as you move in with... It, oh, sorry, there's two... There's a lot of Marines, actually. There's two Medivacs full and one Medivac gets taken out. Uh, so, so far, there's been eight Marines lost and one Medivac... Uh, and that's a that's a great trade for um, for patience. He's uh, he's slightly ahead, and the unit lost that by 200. Uh, and he's also mining more. But you see, the supply is still fairly even. But what I was gonna say is uh, one thing that's nice about the banshee is that you move in and you start sieging the ter the Protoss, and then while they put they they put, they send everything at the front. You send a Benshee in the main, and that's nice. Um, Patient's gonna lose a Stalker to the Widow Mine. The first skill for the Widow Mine. The, on the only Widow Mine in this game uh, so far. The production tab, one Marine. Three Marine, one tank, sorry. So we have the three tanks moving out, and, uh, and full of SCVs, five to be exact. They're moving out. The Observer, um, we, have one obser we have two Observer. One scouting the main army, knowing what is going on. And uh, Patient doesn't want to get Siege, but I think he was just a tiny bit too slow to move out, and he is now uh, contained. Um, two force field going down, one sentry being taken out uh, for four Marines. So 14 Marines, two medevacs, or another Marine being taken out, and uh, Patient's losing that sentry, the three Stalkers. Patient's setting up a pylon over here. Uh, to possibly flank, that's very important. Uh, you know, if you can make Zoth in the back. Uh, Patience now going to be on five gates and a robo. That's how you beat this, but it doesn't make it any easier. The Marines have ins insanely high damage. Scanning and killing two observers. That's really hard for, for Patience. That's really rough because you're not going to rebuild them. You need the immortals. Uh, there's still nothing being made to flank. MMA, uh, one bunker, only one bunker uh, made so far, so that's pretty good. And lands a really nice force field. It's gonna get not all the Marines, but uh, I'd say about half of the Marines, and that that's what MMA really, or uh, that's what Patience needed. Would have been nice if he had more. And uh, Patience actually pulling some of the probes at his natural. Um, Patience starting to float gas. Uh, MMA moving forward the tanks. Patience moving in, uh, four immortals uh, so far, killing the killing the tanks, killing two of the tanks, three tanks left, three immortals left, all the tanks are going down, did Patience do it? I, I didn't, I, I'm impressed. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you deal with a 1-1-1, one, 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 but usually a 1-1-1 one, 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 uh, is never over until it's over, and... MMA with the 500 gas, like I said, I would have loved to see the Banshee uh, a little bit earlier, the Banshee variation, you know. MMA literally had nothing left in his, or nothing in his main. And uh, MMA dropping the tank and the Marines, and he's trying to save Salvage anything he can, and he will manage to uh, leave with the tank and the Marines and the Medivac. The Medivac had, uh, at 6 HP, Stalker does 14 damage to Armored, uh, and a Medivac being Armored, so that would, the Medivac would have died. Uh, <clears throat> so we have Patience remaking probes, wants to go up to at least 8 at the natural, uh, so he can support his 5 gate production, you know, if you don't have uh, 8 at the natural plus 16 in the main, you're not going to be able to support that. As you can see, the income it's about 800, 900, and uh, that's, that's about 5 gate in a robo. Um, Remaking another immortal, and uh, once that immortal comes out, come makes an observer to get a little bit of vision. And also one thing about one thing about the starport and the tech lab is the Raven, the Raven, uh, the PDD, the tanks, the shots of the photon overcharge, was which which is useful. Uh, 
but uh, I don't think that's going to come into play for the second siege. There is a Banshee, however, with Cloak going towards the main, uh, or already in the main, and uh, MMA <laughs> lifting and grabbing the second gold as this one is going to mind out during the fight. And so he's just, he's lifting right now, so he doesn't have to do it later during the fight. And uh, patience, being bold, moving out, and uh, grabbing a bunch of SCVs and Marines and one tank. And that tank is crucial. Um, and, it, and I think I really like that from the patience, you know. The third gas uh, allows him to not stop immortal production and get enough... Uh, get enough get enough sentries so patience has four uh, stalkers in the main in a zealot and the second observer is coming out so he's going to be able to uh, kill that banshee and defend his main and uh, i missed i missed uh, patience moving out uh, and enemy has to tap taps out